If you've been looking for a fast and easy way to repurpose your video content, you've come to the right place. I'm going to review a fascinating AI tool today that's going to help you take your long form video content and put it into the short form video content, such as YouTube Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram Reels. Are you ready to do this? Let's get started. Okay, we're going to review a munch.com today, or actually it's getmunch.com. And this is the screen that you'll get to if you type in getmunch.com. So it's G-E-T-M-U-N-C-H.com. And you'll want to create an account. So you'll click the start now link and you will go ahead and choose whether you want to use Google or if you want to use your email and a password. So I'm just going to use sign up with Google to make it super simple. Once you are logged in, then you can go ahead and start creating with your first project. So let's click the plus button. And now we're going to choose what we want to create the short form clips in. Do we want to create them for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or do we want to create them for Facebook or LinkedIn? For the purposes of this, we're going to just choose YouTube Shorts and then click next. You can drag and drop your video here, or if you've got a YouTube video, you don't need to download it and then upload it. You can actually just put the link here. Uh, for simplicity purposes. We are going to use a long form video that I already have out there. So let's use artificial intelligence and video marketing. It's about nine minutes. Share to get the link, the copy link. Copy that and then we're going to come back into Munch and right here where it says YouTube, we're going to paste that and then click next. Now you can choose your type of subtitles. Now you've probably heard people talk about the Hormozy style, or you've probably seen it on a lot of videos. And that would be this one. You can hover over it to see what it would look like. Same with all of these. And because you're more likely familiar with this font type or um, caption, I'm going to go ahead and choose that one and then click next. Now, what do we want to change? What do we want to call this? We're going to say AI and video marketing. Um, source video is more of an explainer. I will say explainer. And then you can either trust Munch to identify the best points in your video to create clips, or if you know for certain that you want all of them to be 15 seconds, then you can choose that or whichever time frame. I'm going to go ahead and click I trust Munch, and then I'm going to say Munch it. I'll show you what happens next because there's going to be some time that you can step away from your computer. So right here, it says estimated time remaining. It's going to take about 40 minutes. Okay, so whatever that time frame is for you, um, you can go ahead and close out of this. You'll get an email notification when it's ready. Um, and then you can come back here and we'll see what happens. So I will see you back here. Okay, we're back and it's done processing. As you can see on the screen, this is the result of munching that particular video, that nine minute video that I got from YouTube it generated 12 clips. They were auto-generated, so that's a bonus. You didn't have to sit there and go through the entire video and identify what clips you wanted. I chose the option to have it munch for me. The benefit to that is one, you don't have to sit at your computer and do it yourself, um, but two, you're relying on AI to do some of the work for you and it can be more efficient and effective. The way that we're gonna look at that is we know it's more efficient because we were able to walk away from the computer and have it do it for us. Now we want to look at, is it more effective? So out of these 12 clips, we can go through and view each one of them, which we're not going to do right now. <laughs> but once you have those, you can identify um, the value of those clips. But first I want to mention that with this one like nine minute, I think it was like nine and a half minute video that was pulled from YouTube it generated 12 clips. Now, the shorter your video, the shorter the clip, shorter quantity of clips that you'll get, the longer the video, then of course, the more clips you're more likely to get. It also depends on the content and context of the information that you're sharing in your video. So keep that in mind that if it varies, even if you do like a seven minute video consistently with all of them, you might get different quantity of clips throughout just depending on what you're talking about and what munch, if you choose that option, uh, decides is um, you know a good clip one or good clip to use. When we look at this, these are grouped by munch score, which is saying the ones in the top left corner are going to be the ones that have the highest quality, match the criteria, 
in this case for YouTube because I chose the YouTube Shorts option. And it's all based on this up here. So the keyword search volume, obviously some of these are very generic, <laughs> but they might also be relevant. And in this case, artificial intelligence is relevant because that is what I'm talking about in this particular video. It's titled AI and video marketing. So that's going to be one of interest, but you can see here, there's a lot of search volume on this. So it could be good. It could be bad, just depending on, you know, the keywords that you used in your video and all the goods. This is not a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> this is how to use get much. So, um, and it also shows you how many of these clips. So out of the 12 clips, how many of them match that particular keyword. And in this case, it shows six. Uh, there's low competition for this particular clip and keyword. And then if I only want to see those six clips that match this keyword of artificial intelligence, I can click this option. And then you can see the clips change at the bottom. And then we can see that there are only six of them listed here. So if you wanted to do it that way too, you could. Top trending keywords. There are other pieces of data that you can look at. Top trending keywords, where those rank. Top trending brands. In this case, there are two clips that talk about brands. And you can always go back and remunch these as well. You have to be on a paid plan in order to do that. So if you're like, I don't like any of these, or you only like one or two of them, you can remunch it and it'll redo it for you. And then a couple other key um, pieces of data, top trending people, top trending topics that are talked about, um, and then da top down trending keywords as well. Let's go back to all of them. So we're going to reset the view so we can see all 12 of them. And just for the sake of glancing through these, you can see that this one in particular has an extra piece of data, right? So they all have this high search. This one's got trending and based on the behavior, which is one of those charts that we looked at at the top of the key data. Um, and then also I saw another one, this one, relevancy and engagement. So those are two that I may want to pay more attention to, um, you know, out of all of these. Let's go ahead and click on this just so I can show you there's some minor editing that you can do with these clips. If you're like, oh, it clipped it off. And I was saying, and it was like, and then it keeps going. You can clip that part off in here. Okay. So you can either do view or you can click edit. And then I will show you what the export button looks like, because I know one of the questions is probably going to be, can you export since these are YouTube shorts, can you export these directly to YouTube? So I'm going to show you the answer to that. So stick with this shows you the clip where all of the captions were automatically added. So that is a good thing. Those captions are automatically generated. I did not provide any type of SRT or TXT file to get the captions on here. I simply just uploaded the video and it added the captions. Remember at the beginning, when we could look at the different options that were available, that's where this was. If you want to change anything in here, let's just say uh, this particular your, just click on it and you're like, I wanted this to be apostrophe R-E. And then you just hit enter. And then it changes it that easily. Okay, so you can go through and do that. Other things you can do if you decide, you know what, I don't like the way that this particular hormozy font looks on my videos, you can go through and you can change that 200 templates, um, different styles. If you want to change the size, the text color, the outline, the effect colors, that, like all of it, you can do all that here. Templates, this is where you have the Formosi style, and then it gives you all the other options here as well. So you can just simply click it. It'll take a moment and then it will apply that particular font on just that clip or you can choose it to make that change across all the clips and then any auto highlight. So you may have seen in the list of um, captions that some of, them, some of them were highlighted green. You can change that here. Now, when you start getting into the coloring, this is where you might want to incorporate your brand colors. Um, and then also keep in mind that you wanna make sure that they're legible, you know, so font size is going to matter because you've got people, you've got like 85 to 90% of people who watch videos with the sound off. So in that case, you're going to want to make sure that your captions are legible and that includes the font colors that you're choosing. So you can make all those changes here. And if you wanted to, like I mentioned, if you wanted to do some light editing, like I didn't want this um, beginning here with that clip like that, and then you can just pull it in and it'll clip it off. Now, export. You can export here or you can export in the clip screen like we saw before. And we'll go back and look at that again. Um, I have integrated, and I will show you that here in a second too, I've integrated YouTube into this application. Unfortunately, right now, that integration is not available. So when it becomes available, that option will be highlighted. 
So right now, in order to get that YouTube short on YouTube, I would actually have to download it to my computer and then upload it to YouTube, okay? So just an extra step for right now, but just with everything AI, it's constantly changing and evolving. So that will become available at some point. So let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. Okay, so we're back here. You can actually just click this export link and it will give you that same option. So you don't actually have to go into the editing window. You can do it here and download it. And then when that integration becomes available, now you're probably like, okay, what other integrations are available, right? That's what this is over here to the left, this option that kind of looks like two arrows going in opposite directions. When you click on that, now you can see that you have other options. Right now, you can also integrate TikTok and Instagram. And soon to come is YouTube Shorts and Facebook. So if you have a YouTube video that you brought in here just to add captions, then that might be an option that you can do because it's working right now. The reason why I'm not seeing is because it's YouTube Shorts. And then this is just for the different plans. You want to upgrade to a different plan, you can do that, see what's available on each one, um, frequently asked questions. And that's all there is to it. That's, I mean, Munch is pretty simple to use. And the amazing part about that is that it is doing all the work for you. To me, that's like having an assistant of my own. I can step away, I can do other things, and it makes me more productive. So is it efficient? Yes, because it does it on its own. Is it effective? We would need to go in each one of those right now. And again, I don't want to waste your time, but you want to go into each one of those clips. The ones I looked at, they are very good. Now, the farther I got along in the process, so I had 12 clips. Once I got to that 11th and 12th clip, probably not so much, but that's okay. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, make today great.